Hi everyone, Bob Mesocomer here, and welcome to my office. You know folks, it's been my pleasure to bring you Simply Fishing Extreme. I've been traveling the globe for the past 30 years collecting fishing action spanning from muskies, northern pike, lake trout, tarpon, billfish, sailfish, roosters, smallmouth, largemouth, lake trout, peacock, and many more, and it's all totally authentic. Simply Fishing would like to thank the following sponsors. Klein Nissan of Maplewood. Klein Nissan, where the service leads to sales. 18 Tackle. Why sing them a lullaby when you can throw them a rock concert? Evernoot Outboard. Spend more time on the water. All Canada Show. Where American anglers meet Canadian hosts. Center Nutrition. Providing wellness through lifestyle. We'd also like to thank the following lodges. At the Basket Fishing Lodge. Cedar Lake Lodge. Century Lodge. Short Lake Lodge. And Witch Bay Camp. On today's show, I'll be joined by Kevin and Rena Goldberg. Bring her back. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hi everyone, Bob Mason over here. You know, I've got a place, a very, very special place in my heart. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10 catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll free at 1-877-922-0957. Oh, I don't know. I okay, sold. let's get a fish off the rocks on jerk baits. That's can... one thing they definitely have not seen on the rock. Yeah. From the looks of it, not too many of the guys here that have been here are jerk baiters either. No. I noticed. So if I jerk and it doesn't move, it's a rock or a fish to set the hook either way? That would be correct. <laughs> Balls are quiet. Jerk baits are what I used to see those big fish on on that little island down there. Oh, really? Mm hmm. That and jackpots. Some of these fish just like that side to side stuff. Yep. And as few of big fish as we're seeing right now, because I know the big fish will eat the blades. Yep. But as few as we are, that you know that we've been seeing, you gotta wonder where are they? What are they doing? Right. Not deep, maybe. You want to see that big back roll up over the top of one of these jerk baits? Then you know you got it. It kills me that those birds, those little ones, yeah. they're identical. There's not one difference between them, but these mothers know exactly where to fly back to. Yeah, that is weird. They have been fluffing their wings a lot more. Do they? As the week went by, yeah. yeah.
These, this bite here might be over. The seagulls might be too big. Forage is gone. Quit barrel rolling down there. All right. <laughs> Not ready yet. She didn't like that, did she? <laughs> oh my god. She's out of there. All right. That fish looked way bigger than that when that head came up. That was cool when it came out. Yeah. Okay, I'm that was that was an aggressive jerkbait hit. <laughs> Got it, Ken. Go ahead and cut the hooks if you want. She's oh, out. she's off. Okay, because we got plenty of hooks. Yep, she's out. <laughs> yeah, she's like every treble is pinned. Every treble? Was. Now I cut one. Which now I should be able to get. There we go. And she should be out of here in a second. There we go. I'm yeah. going to back us up. She definitely looked. She hit with the right attitude, huh? Yeah, that fish, <laughs> that fish looked half again that big when it ate. Sweet, huh? I'm pulling it out of the way. Just let her slide. She's fine. Ready? Yeah. Good to go. Cool. Look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish. This side over here. There's a 50 fish. <laughs> Folks, you're seeing it right now. My 100th just came in the net at Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. She ate that thing. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Tell you one thing, there's a strong gear class of small fish in here. I'll say. Way stronger than normal. Yeah. This is where I like a floating jerk bait. Yeah. Right up on that rock. Come right off that thing, no hurry. Molly gag and side to side. Those big heavy jerk baits that just do nothing but sink. I don't care for them. No. I don't throw many sinking jerk baits myself. What's going to happen at the magic hour today? I don't know. There's a lot of exchanging in fish going on on these islands. Yeah. 
There just must be a constant recruitment of fish. Oh, look at this. Seagulls are attacking my muskie. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones are coming too. See the seagulls attack it? A whole bunch of them came from over there too. <laughs> they don't like these muskies. <laughs> <laughs> they want to eat it. Careful with your hands in there, guy. Yeah. We need. I want you to throw this bait. Rena. Okay. They're eating this thing, man. I have never, you okay? Oh yeah. I've never seen seagulls attack a muskie. <laughs> Seriously, all of them from that island, they all came over. They did, huh? Yeah, they did. Okay, there's one. Okay, now I should be able to get it. They just love to wrap up in the net. All right, honey, give me the cutter. I, I, I would recommend, I would, no, she's, out, no. she's out. I would recommend that you throw this lure, okay. at least around these islands. A little bit nicer built fish, huh? Nicer built, but I'm saying right in there that 37, 38. Yeah. Pretty yeah. though. Real pretty. And, and I mean, was seriously mad at that lure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't believe the way the seagulls attacked them. Pull that out of there, Kevin, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show her how to work this lure. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Here's, here's what I want you to do. You're going to be able to see it real easy, mm -hmm. okay? Hit the water. You're just going to lightly drop the rod tip, okay? See how the rod tip? And you're going to take up your slack line. See that? Mm -hmm. Let it get all the way out to the side, just like you've been doing everything else. See that? You don't want to rip. It takes no power whatsoever. You could close your eyes and work this bait, okay? All you have to do is just flick the rod tip. Got it? I'm gonna throw gold. What are you throwing? Pardon me? What are you throwing? I'm gonna throw gold. AK. Okay. It's already on a rod, so. Yeah. Toss it right to the rocks. Good.
You could put a blindfold on and throw that thing. Okay, toss it back in. Three, four feet if there's nothing there. Good, good. See how it swings? There you go, there you go. Now you're getting it. There you go. See that you had different yeah. line tension? Mm -hmm. You see how the real, now that's not a bad thing because that's your regular and the fish all of a sudden it changes the cadence that the fish is, is watching. You have no worries about throwing over the top of that reef with that thing. None whatsoever. Want me to head that way now? Yep, or head that way. way. Yep. If jaws exist on these two islands, it's right there. Your next cast, I want you to send it to the island okay. and hit the deep water that's between this and that. As we go past this, you'll get it all. This, this one here might be a little on the bright side. Good. See, it gets behind the boat, your, your, mm -hmm. everything changes. The dynamics change. Go ahead, right straight in. Biggest one I've ever seen on this reef was right here. And then I saw one with about a, you know, probably 11 or 12 inch tail on the other side. I missed her. She ticked it. I thought it was a rock. And I got one pump and I saw the tail come up out of the water. And I went, man, hook sets are free. What was I doing? I let her fly. If that thing looks like it's going to hit granite, stop it. See how easy that twitch is? You're starting to learn that. Just a little twitch. It doesn't take a lot. A friend of mine who used to design lures for Bagley said that the best lure you'll ever throw are those that foul the easiest. Yeah. They'll have the most natural presence. Oh, yes. Yeah. You got her. You got her. <laughs> you got her. You got her. Just stay with her. Keep your rod up. I got it, I got it. You got it, she's got it. 
threw right up on there on that point, and bingo, huh? It's head shaking. <laughs> just keep it, just don't, don't race the fish. Just take your time. She's hooked. Still head shaking. She's gonna, they're going to want to barrel roll on you and do all kinds of crazy things, so. How's that feel? Oh, that's nice fish. Oh yeah! <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't die for it! Don't die for it! Okay, we got it. That's been a long time coming. Yeah, hit the free pool. Hit the free pool. Got it. I got it. Hit nice the fish, Rena. <laughs> All she right. She was shaking the entire time. She was shaking the entire time, huh? Yes. I think it's time for you and your coach to come on down. <laughs> Should we go down and see your fish? Sure. All right, we generally don't do this, but I'll go down there with you. Okay. Should I keep this free spool? Hit, here's what we're gonna do, watch. Okay. Watch this, and I'm gonna show you. Hit three spool, we're gonna peel off about six, eight feet of line. Okay. Then and leave the rod lay here, okay? okay. Congratulations. That's a nice fish, Rena. How did that feel, huh? <laughs> All right, she's out, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get over here. I'll let you two get in there. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way. Go ahead, let me huh? let me come over here. Boat's fine. Okay. What do you think, Kevin? Huh? That's pretty nice yeah. fish. <laughs> well, that coaching paid right there. You got to see that firsthand. Let's. Uh, where's the scissors? Right there. She's out. Here's safety. Okay, this is nothing more than safety. Where's the, see the line going around there? Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do is snip this line. Okay. Okay, take that. Now, two things, we won't lose the rod now, mm -hmm. and she won't be wrapped up when you go to pick her up. She is off, right, Kevin? She's off. She was off, I don't know if she rolled up in something, she was definitely off. She where's the lure, is it underneath? It's right there, I see it. I, Give me the hook cutters. We're gonna have you pick her up, so we're gonna get rid of all the hooks. She's gonna wrap, roll a little bit here. See this one right here? That's first one. We're gonna get rid of all those hooks because that's how we get hurt. We think we got it, and then they spin on you. Right, I am a hand model. It's scared. <laughs> I'm telling you, this scares me to death when they spin on you in these yeah. nets. Do you want the glove right or no? No, she'll be fine. No, I can't. Okay. Beg. You'll be fine. You've held them. Hooks are cheap. Well, that was nice to see, Rena. Yeah. How about that? that felt good. She hit pretty hard, huh? Okay. Yeah. Every hook is cut. Okay. Okay. Let's get the lure out of there. See, we got line through the through the actual hook itself. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you good. Go. Nice fish. Real nice. But right now, it's virtually impossible for her to hurt us, which is key. A run to the hospital here is expensive. <laughs> All right, honey, get in there. Um, Kevin, do me a favor. Pull my line up out of the way there, sure. please. Okay, I'm gonna bring her right up here. And you can go down, you're gonna have to open her mouth. You know how to do it? Open her mouth? What do you mean? Open her you're mouth? gonna open here, here's here's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Always okay. take the opposite side of the fish. Okay. Get one leg in here. Always take the opposite side of the fish mm -hmm. because she's gonna wanna roll that way. Yeah, just so your hand comes. Get a lot. Yeah, exactly. So you're pretty good right there. Go ahead, go for it. Opposite side. You're going to take this side now. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. She'll slide right down into your hand if you let her. Lift her up first and then you'll get her. There you go. <laughs> nice fish. 
Yeah. Was that fun? Oh my god, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Got it? Sure yeah, my first one was fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, that's a really, really She made me fish. work for her. Yeah, she did. Pretty fish, too. My little hands pay off I tell you, there's no way in the world I wanted to bring out Jerky Jason on this show. But the truth is, is we did have fish going on our big AKs, and we had them going on agitators. We pulled up this rock structure and decided, well, let's try the, the new Jerky Jason and see if we could get a fish to respond to it. And you saw, we made quick order of a number of fish. That said, it was time to put it on Rena's line and let her take a crack at her first ever cast two muskie. You know, Rena's caught a lot of muskies in the past fishing with her husband Kevin, but they've all been trolling. It's an entirely different experience to cast to these fish. Hey folks, thanks for watching this week. I want to thank Kevin and Rena for being on the show, and I want to thank everybody back at Century Lodge for making this possible. Please remember practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. <laughs> the future of fishing is in your hands. Yeah, Jerky Jasons will be out soon enough. We'll see you folks next week for more Simply Fishing Extreme.